You have a tech company and you want to build an AI audio or AI music solution. It really doesn't matter what type of solution you want to build. It could be a recommender system or a speech recognition system. In this video, I want to share a few strategies that you can use to implement your AI music vision. If you're not familiar with the Sound of AI channel, in this channel, I usually talk about AI in the context of music and audio signal processing. But for this video, you can get a lot of value, even if your solution is not necessarily an AI audio or music solution. So let's get started. There are four strategies that you can use to develop your AI audio solution. The first one is buying that solution as an off-the-shelf solution. Say, for example, you are interested in speech recognition. So what you can do is go to Microsoft, Amazon or Google and use their speech recognition API so that you don't have to build them yourself. The second strategy that you have is that of building the solution yourself. In this case, you would have an AI audio team with all the expertise needed to build your solution. The third option that you have is that of consulting with a someone who has expertise and who can help and guide your team building your own solution internally. So in a sense, consulting is a subset of building where you indeed build your solution internally, but then you just get advice or expert advice from someone who has a lot of experience and expertise in developing this type of AI audio solutions that you are after. The fourth and final strategy that you have is that of outsourcing. In this case, you can contract a company that has a lot of expertise in developing AI audio solutions or specifically the solution that you request and then let them do like the bulk of the work and then you can take that work and then implement it in or integrate it in your product. A question you may have now is when should I use these different strategies? Of course, each of these strategies comes with different pros and cons. They work for certain situations, but not necessarily for others. Now, I want to share four questions that cover four different aspects of your business that you should consider when deciding to go for one strategy instead of another. The first consideration has to do with talent. You should ask yourself, do we have all the necessary AI audio talent internally to build this solution? This is extremely important because AI audio talent is really the key to arrive at a solution that may actually work in production. The second aspect has to do with the strategic positioning of the AI audio solution within your business. You should ask yourself, how core is this AI solution to my business? The reasoning behind this question is that if this AI audio solution that you want to build is very core to your business, then you may want to consider building it internally because you need that IP for your business. Whereas if you have a solution that is just ancillary to your business, then you may just think about buying an off-the-shelf solution. The third aspect is also very important and has to do with the funds that you can channel into the project. So you should ask yourself, how much money can I channel into the project? And of course, depending on the amount of funds that you can have in this for building this AI audio solution, you can take one way or another way that perhaps is cheaper. The fourth consideration is connected with the amount of time that you can spend on this project. So you should ask yourself, how much time can we spend on this project? And of course, this has an important influence on the type of uh, strategies that you want to use to build your AI audio solution. In case you have a hard deadline and you, you, you know that in a couple of months you're going to hit it and you need a product by that time, probably if you don't have a strong AI audio team internally, the best thing to do may well be that of buying an external solution or getting someone with a lot of expertise externally who can build 
that system for you and then you can use it. To summarize, there are four aspects that you want to consider for deciding which strategy to use to build your AI or your solution. And these are talent, the strategic value of your project, time and money. Now that you have an overview of the different variables that you should consider for deciding for one strategy or another, the next step is actually understanding what steps we should take to actually decide one of these strategies. The first step is straightforward. It's just asking the questions that I introduced earlier. The second step consists of scoping out the market and understanding the off-the-shelf solutions that are out there for the task at hand. The first step is extremely important if you don't have strong expertise in AI audio internal to your team. I highly suggest you to try to contract a consultant and have a conversation with this person so that this person can actually scope out the complexity of what you want to build, the feasibility and more or less the timeline that you'll require to actually build that solution or acquire that solution. The fourth and final step is now that you have this big overview with all of the different variables scoped out, the timeline more or less in mind, and now you know the strategic value of this project for you, you should just take a decision. I'm aware that all the heuristics that I've introduced may feel a little bit abstract. It may not be 100% clear when to go with one strategy instead of another. For that, I want to bring you a few examples. So we're gonna think about like four different companies, imaginary companies that are at different stages, but they want to build more or less the same AI audio solution, which, and as an example, could be a audio classification system for checking traffic. So for example, a system that can tell you whether you have a car or you have a motorbike or a van, for example. Okay, so let's start with the first company. The first company is a new startup which wants to build this audio classification traffic control system as its core business. This company already has a team of AI audio engineers, but they are quite junior. Now, what should they do? Well, I would highly suggest them to build the solution in-house because they definitely need that IP in-house given this is literally like their core value. But at the same time, given the lack of seniority in their team, I would suggest to contract a consultant who could help mentoring the team, letting them grow, giving a, an external opinion and feedback on what they've built. In the second example, we have an established company that's still active in traffic control, but they've developed a model or a system that works with image processing. So the core expertise of this company is image processing. They've built this product, which is already quite successful, but now they want to extend their product features also uh, having uh, AI audio classification to reinforce what they've already done with image processing. The key here is that they don't have expertise in AI audio, internal expertise, and they're also in a fast turnaround, perhaps because a client asked them to add this feature to their product suite. So what should they do? Well, a valid option for them would be to go to a provider and then a license an AI audio environmental classification solution. And they could go to like one of the, the big providers like Google or Amazon, or they could go to more specialized companies and actually license some kind of like sound environmental uh, classification system. In the third example, we have an early stage company that has acquired money from investors and now has one year and a half, two years uh, worth of runway. They want to build uh, a solution that obviously has AI audio classification and centered around the idea of traffic control. And now this is gonna be their core technology. They still don't have a team, but they have time and they have money. So what should they do? Well, in this case, I, high, I would suggest this company to go for building the solution themselves. 
This is a solution that's going to be key for their IP and they have the time and the money, first of all, to hire a good team of AI audio engineers with different levels of exp uh, expertise and experience from junior to senior so that they can actually build the whole uh, pipeline, the whole product internally. Finally, we have a large company that's attacking for the first time the traffic control market using AI audio technologies. They don't have a team with expertise in AI audio. They are on a quite fast turnaround, but they have a lot of money to invest in this product. So what could they do? Well, they can actually outsource the production of this solution to a freelancer or a company of developers who have a lot of skills and expertise in AI audio. And at the end of this development process, they can actually integrate this solution within their product. Okay, so you, here you have four examples of how you can use these different heuristics for deciding which direction to go, which strategy to use to build your own AI audio solution. Now, as a final wrap up, I want to remind you that you have four options there. So one is building, another one is buying, then you have consulting, and finally you have outsourcing. You can consider or you should consider a bunch of different aspects to decide which direction to go. And these are the time that you can invest in the project, the money that you have and you can channel into the project, the internal talent, as well as the strategic value of the project within your business context. I hope this video cleared out many of the doubts you may have had regarding which direction to go when it comes time to develop your own AI audio or music solution. If you need extra help, you can go to my website and contact me because I do a lot of consulting in AI audio and I can help you both giving you like a possible path or direction and helping you orientating in this very chaotic and complex field and also help you develop the system itself. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Take care.